Okay, hello people and welcome back. As you can see, we are back in Greg's shed again. Final home stretch for me. Greg's got a few little pieces to go yet, but uh, we're gonna get this thing running today. So where are we up to? Okay. <clears throat> I've just um, soldered a couple of cables in here. We've got the oil pressure switch, um, which is this green one. Um, this red one here goes to the cooling fan. The other side of the cooling fan is this blue cable here, which we're going to connect to the ground of the uh, frame. The other one I'm working in over here is our fuel pump. <clears throat> this one's slightly different than my tank. My tank, the fuel pump wires into this point here. This bike is at the end. Um, we've just figured out that these two cables here are our fuel pump. And we can chuck them on this little battery here to confirm. And yep, the fuel pump's running, so we'll connect those ones in, and uh, yeah, go from there. Cool. Okay, so these two are our fuel pump. Um, the brown is going to go to our ground point, and this green with a white stripe is going to go in to our ignition output here. Okay, so the next wire I'm going to connect is this green one, which is our oil pressure, uh, which goes into the breakout box, which is the second terminal down, so we'll do that now. Okay, so this red cable here, this goes to our coolant fan, and um, this is going to go into our coolant relay. And it goes onto A2 terminal, so I'll crimp a little spade terminal on that and we'll plug it in. Okay, so we have connected all the button cables, that's all these green ones, coming back to their appropriate inputs. And we've drawn up um, exactly what we want. So now I'm going to do the alternator. Um, now this big red heavy cable, this goes directly to battery positive. Um, this blue one here, this is for our charging lamp, um, which I've lost again. Okay, so here's our charging lamp that I've made. I'd use the stock um, BMW charging lamp. So we're going to go uh, one side onto this blue cable, and the other side has to go to um, switched ignition on positive. And this lamp should illuminate when the key's turned on, and it should turn off when the engine's running. So probably just going to sit this in this box here somewhere. Uh, probably something like that. So yeah, let's do that now. Okay, so I've just run that blue wire from the alternator up through this black sleeving um, into our box. I'm going to do a solder join here onto the other side of this light. And the other one goes down and into the switched um, ignition on. So yeah, solder that one up. Okay, so where are we up to? Um, we've just connected our battery negative and battery positives up. These cables are still um, too long. We're going to shorten all these at a later date. Um, we just want to get this thing running and make sure that it runs. Um, so we've got a key switch in. It's just hanging here. We'll have to sort that out later. But I think we're at the point where we can um, turn it on and turn the engine over and see if we can get rid of the... Um, low pressure oil warning light uh, before we plug any other electrics in and give it some spark and fuel so we'll go from there okay so i just turned my ignition switch on you can see our charge light has come on which is what it's supposed to do um, we have a low oil pressure warning light um, we're just going to turn the engine over yeah and we'll just make sure that we um, pump some oil through should take 10 or 15 seconds hopefully I think we might need to charge that battery okay so that was a bit of an anti-climax we got a bit of a flat battery or it hasn't been charged yet so um, we've just got it on a trickle charger uh, which could take a while so we're gonna try and steal the battery out of uh, the motard and um, we'll use some jumper leads just so we can turn this thing over and uh, get that oil pressure switch to go off. 
Cool. Okay. We've got the most dodgiest battery set up here that I've ever seen in my entire life. But that's what you've got to do sometimes. So, key switch on. Powering up. Let's see how the starter motor sounds this time. And we want to see that red light there go off. No. Not enough, eh? Not enough. <clears throat> okay, so our battery is flat. Um, we've just bodged it onto the side of this bike, and Greg's going to go for a spin around the block for 10 or 15 minutes, hopefully to charge it. Hopefully it stays up. The things you do. Okay, so while he's gone, uh, I've got this cable here. This is a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven core. And I'm going to run this up to the front of the bike. So we're going to have um, a ground, uh, we're going to have headlight, high beam, um, we're going to have a horn, indicator, indicator, and park light. Um, so we'll run all those off this one cable. So I'll start feeding that through now. Okay, so Greg's just got back from his spin along the motorway and our battery is better. Um, now we've just been turning it over and we just saw the oil light go off. Um, we're just going to try it again quickly. Yep. yep, I'm happy with that. Okay, so let's um, get this battery back off again. We'll probably put it onto the trickle charger while we get all the tanks sorted out. Um, and then we could be, could be pretty close to it. Okay, so um, Greg's just been for another ride on his bike, um, charged this up again. Um, we've obviously got the tank on, you can see that. Um, we've just connected the fuel uh, pump. So I'll turn the ignition on and we'll see if that fuel pump runs, which it is. We'll just let it uh, pump through for a couple of minutes and make sure we've got no leaks. got no leaks so that's a good sign do you want to do the honors sir? Okay, here we go. Yeah. yeah I'll do the throttle oh. Okay, let's leave it there for now. Yeah, give it a crack. You like to be the throttle guy. Yep. It's not good, eh? Okay. okay, so we haven't been able to get the bike started and we think there wasn't enough fuel coming out of here. Yeah, I'll focus here. Right? See that? Yeah. Okay, off. I think that's our issue. Yeah. So we've just pulled the fuel pump out and I'll show you what we found. We found that this hose here has been squished and uh, completely cut off and I'm not sure exactly how that's supposed to work where would that hose supposed to come because oh I see there's a little okay there's a uh, maybe there is there's a little gap over there yeah So there's a little gap on the side where that hose should come through and they've just poked it in there and squished it 
there's all broken off pieces of um, hose in here too so I think we'll have to drain the tank and give it a big clean out but it's beaten us for today I think but I think if we just get some new fuel hose we might we might be okay right it has beaten us for today um, we've just ordered a new well he's just ordered a new fuel pump um, but I'm gonna go home and grab that old tank of mine and see what state my fuel pumps in and I might bring it over tomorrow if it's in a good state and then we'll throw it in and see uh, if we can get this thing into life tomorrow it ain't gonna beat us that's for sure okay so I'm back at my place uh, brought Greg's battery back now I'll turn on power supply We'll uh, put this on charge. No, no, no. <laughs> As you can see, we are finally back. Finally, how long's it been? Three weeks. Two weeks, three weeks. We've got a new fuel filter, new fuel pump. Uh, Greg's just struggling <laughs> for the past half hour with. We think we got it in there okay. Yeah, yeah. Um, we've got a fully charged battery and we brought spare batteries. We've got enough power to uh, power up 10 of these bikes I hope. So we're just doing a few final little things and then we're going to fire this thing up. Uh, over my dead body we're going to fire this thing up I tell you. Shall we put this in? Yep. You reckon we're good to go? That's yep. all in. Things in. Any reason I shouldn't do this? No. <laughs> do you want to say that a camera again? <laughs> <laughs> oh, what could possibly go wrong? I don't know, I've done this a couple of times now. I'd like to get it right. How much do you reckon? I think at least half okay. that container. Okay, so we've got some fuel in the tank. Um, we're going to fire that fuel pump up. Um, we've got the return line disconnected. We just want to see it come firing out of here. And we're going to try and get it into this container. Okay, let's get that key just to turn it on for... Yeah, off. Beautiful. That just comes shooting out of there. Okay, Greg, here we go. So, um, key on. Throttle. Uh, probably won't need throttle, I don't think. Let's just give it a... We've got no leaks that I can see. If you want me to hold the throttle and okay. first attempt, not 31st. Okay. Here we go. Yep. I think there might be something wrong with that starter motor. I think so too. Okay folks, there you go. She's back into life. So yeah, we have success. Fantastic. Okay people, well thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. And uh, yeah, keep tuned and we'll see you in the next one.